so uh, as i was discussing that in any information system we have basically different things so we have pe people who are having some hardware software in order to have an information system so what is hardware basically so all the tangible physical equipment we can see in front of us in in the in our in the form of uh, you can see that you can say that uh, as an in input devices processing devices or output devices you can see uh, keyboard mouse your computer casings motherboard peripherals components attached that is memory is primary memory secondary memory that a hard drive rams rom motherboard and your output screens you can see uh, that you can you can you can say that uh, uh, in our monitors or leds lcds all these physical equipment which we can touch comes under the umbrella of hardware and then we have some software the thing which we cannot touch intangible thing is called actually software so whenever i uh, discuss these hardware software things with my students i mostly tell them and uh, uh, try to relate a machine with a computer uh, computer any type of computer or system or information system with human so actually human has made these machines in order to reduce their efforts and in order in in the replacement in their replacement in their replacement so that instead of human the these processes these activities are performed by the robot the machines and these computer systems so, and so that it can be done uh, more reliable more quickly and without having too much human efforts without having too much human efforts so if you see uh, any human you can see that human have hardware that are uh, their their body parts all these things are their hardware so similarly these machines also have some hardware components uh, in uh, in the form of uh, uh, you can say input process output devices input devices processing devices and output devices similarly the human also have hands legs different hardware brain input process and output devices as well and a human have a soul as software as well soul if if there is no soul in the human there in a bo in the body all the uh, human body is useless so in the similar way if there is no software available in a, in any computer hardware so computer hardware is again useless so we must have some software in order to understand these computer hardwares to work for the humans so these are the software which enables which can which actually uh, make enable which enables these machines to work for the end users so uh, softwares we have different types so we will discuss in, in further when we will discuss that we have different categories of softwares so detailed program instructions that control or coordinate the computer hardware components in a, any information system actually it controls it, it 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 actually enables computer hardware to understand the human instructions computer uh, software is like you can say an interpreter it converts human language that is high level language into the machine level language that is 1010 binary language so that it can enable the computer hardware to process the instructions for the human and in return it again reconverts that information that uh, i can say a low level language into again the high level language which which a uh, human required in the form of either it is uh, mathematical calculations or it is any textual symbolic things anything then we have some storage technologies storage technologies also we have uh, hard hardware software technologies and virtual the whatever the data we store is in actually virtual data it is not physically exist 
this data is virtually present in our system so physical media devices are physical and in those physical devices data is stored by using software in a virtual form so physical media and software governing the storage and organizing of data for user in an information system so we all these actually things we will further discuss in details when we will see each and every components peripheral hardware peripheral components in, in our further classes then we have telecommunication technology that is physical devices and, and software that link various computer hardware components and transfer data from one physical location to another that we have connected by the by wired medium or wireless medium we have connected so many computing devices so that we can send our data from one one point to another point we can transmit and receive our, the data or information from one source to another destination or from another source to any other destination so again we need you can you you can see in your homes you have routers which is so all these are physical devices the networking devices telecommunication devices which enables you to communicate from any point of uh, any, any from any location to any location in the globe so again functions of information system we have already discussed shapes of computer it can be so actually i'm not going to discuss the shapes of the computer over here so you you will take these things as an assignment and briefly i'm discussing that there are desktop case supercomputers we have uh, mainframe computers many micro laptops desktops all these things uh, we have you have to read these things your by by your own and one more one assignment you have to do is what are the, how many generations of computer you have so you have to write down briefly in in assignment it has to uh, you have to either you can want to type you can type or if you want to write by your uh, in, in your own writing you can write but it has to be concise and don't copy paste first read understand and then reproduce it so what are the generations for example generation one generation two generation three you have what you have to write down is what are the major findings of the what is the tenure of that generation from which era which year to which year that generation were and then uh, what are the main equipments or inventions in that particular generations and then in next generation what are the what, what tenure the generation exists uh, from which year to which year then what are the new findings of those generations so in this way you have to make your assignments of the generation existing existed generation till date we have from first generation to whatever the generation number we have so we have many computers you can like workstations uh, actually many many students think that this is actually cpu but this is not a cpu this is just a type of casing if it is in this way vertical way it is known as tower casing and if it is in a horizontal way in this way on which the view can sometimes if it is in a horizontal way you place your screens on your uh, casings so it is known as desktop casing this is tower casing and this is desktop casing cpu that is central processing unit or we call in our cases which we use in our homes known as micro type of processors are actually a chip which is inside the inside this uh, casing on the motherboard which actually process all the information it is like the brain of your computer uh, so like you we uh, human have brain in order to process the information and uh, take the decisions so similarly that chip is named as central processing unit that cpu or in our case because the type of computers we are using in that case we call it micro level processor microprocessor which actually process 
that can control all the instructions within a computer system. Is it, it is attached on the motherboard. So you can see if sometimes we have handled PC devices. If these are the previous area eras devices. Now we have smartphones. So the parts of computer system we have I discussed already hardware, software, data, and users. So you can see uh, hardware, all the physical components. You can see then. Uh, all these physical components are called hardware data and information software we have windows different types of windows now android linux unix many other softwares available uh, programming software and application software and utility software so there are different types of softwares available basically we need an operating system software in order to uh, use any computer then we can we have some more other application softwares and utility software in order to perform in uh, Perform any specific tasks So we will discuss uh, when we will discuss software individually So then we have data you can see we have an hard data and we have converted this hard data in the soft data by using this information technology we have saved this information or data you can say data information in your in our computer system and the user the people the end user those who are actually working on those computer so a computer hardware consists of electronic devices the parts you can see and touch I, I already discussed with you the term device refers to any piece of hardware used by the computer such as keyboard monitor modem mouse etc you can see there are pictorial this is a pictorial view of hard, some hardware peripherals and components you have in your in your computer system or any or in, in any information system that we have uh, you can see speakers mic printers then we have hard drives rams there are certain vj cards input mouse key, keyboard speakers and we have different other devices so all are written over here all these are actually hardware components parts of com computer system soft which we cannot touch is called software also called program consists of organized sets of instructions for controlling the computer actually software enables computer hardware to perform the activities which you demand from the computer hardware so actually these are some set of algorithms and instructions uh, which programmers do so that when end user wants to perform an activity that activity can be easily processed so actually it is set of set of programs algorithms or instructions for controlling the computer some program exists for the computer use to help it manage its own tasks and devices and other programs exist for the users and enable the computer to perform tasks for you such as creating document or this is actually discussing the two different types of software one is system software in which we have operating system software and operating system software actually enable our computer devices hardware in which enables it to perform activities for human then we have application software in system software we have operating system software and we have some utility software as well then we have application software for example if i want to write down a letter so i have microsoft word if i if i want to perform some sort of calculation then i have microsoft excel or access if i want to i can say if if i want to uh, do some chatting or social social activities then we have facebook so application software right now this in this era in generation z you guys uh, are actually in generation z so in generation z you use the word app 
so app is actually the short form of application software so whatever you the thing you want to perform you download that specific app in order to perform your your activities if you want to communicate you want to chat or you want to perform some social activities so you have lots of social media and social activities applications like facebook twitter or you can say instagram and so many other so you can download those apps in order to perform any specific tasks. if you want to edit your photos if you want to edit your videos you have different other application software like after you can uh, you have your uh, adobe photoshop i'm giving a, one an example there are so many other uh, application softwares as well in order to edit your photo and in order to render your videos and then you have adobe premiere in order to edit your videos so all these are actually for a specific way for the user exists for the user and enable the computer to perform the task for the user such as creating document I, see. so uh, the part of a computer system data consists of raw facts which the computer which compute the computer can manipulate and process into the information that is useful to people computerized data is digital actually 1010 it is in the form of 1010 digital binary data meaning that it has been reduced to digits or numbers the computer stores and reads all data as numbers so you think you have a photo for you it is a file a photo file in order to understand that what computer have computer take it in the form of 1010 numbers so it stores the information in the form of numbers and due to different software types and application you can see it in the in the form of different files so be, be at behind you can see uh, you can say at uh, behind these files these there are certain numbers in which these files and these folders and these videos are actually saved and when we will discuss that how data is stored in different uh, storage devices that is uh, floppy or you can see uh, hard drive or uh, DVD, CDs and DVDs that is uh, any in which we are uh, reading and writing the data in the form of light in the form of magnetic electromagnetic effects so I am going to tell you at that point that how, storing the data and memory location vacant and deleting what are the meanings of all these terms uh, as far as data availability in the computer storage devices deleting the data and formatting the data what are actually the base basically happening inside the devices when we are using these terms so internal actually i'm going to discuss with you the internal structure later on so although computers use data in digital form they convert data into forms that people can understand as i told you right now a bit, a, a, a bit, a bit earlier that we it is in the in the binary language but through, through software software converts and represent those 1010 machine language which hardware can understand in the form that user can understand and it also when we are giving some instruction to our hardware so it converts our instructions in whatever the language it is into the language 1010 binary which machine can understand people can understand such as text numerals sounds and images etc a part of computer user people are the computer operators or users some type of computer can computers can operate without much intervention from people but personal computers are designed specially for use by people okay the computer system users it can be an end, end user those who are actually using those and pe people uh, user can be a programmer or the person who is actually designing or establishing uh, any information uh, any computer or any, any information system as well so when we look inside the machine in the form of hardware we have all these parts cpu 
memory input and output devices storage devices and communication devices so uh, you can see input devices we have then processor we have this is processor between hard uh, between the ram and your hard disk and you can, this is processor this is memory this is memory that is ram which is prime, known as primary memory then we have input devices all these mic keyboard mouse all these are actually the input devices we have then we have output devices in the form of a screen and in the form of printing if you want a hard hard output of our information we have stored in the computer system we have an output device called printer as well or we can say if you want to listen anything so speaker will give us an output so that we can listen so audio output so it is again an output devices so from uh, we will uh, keep our lecture over here we will stop over here and we will continue in our further things in our next lecture